So last time, what do you see? Uh, we finished text table tool and then uh, dimensions connectors. Hmm. We finished all of that. Okay. What about panels? Uh, panels no. Okay, we have completed this all. Yes, sir. I mean the last three. I don't think we did, sir. Okay, so we have to start with this one. Eyedropper tool. Yeah. Smart fill and all. Okay. So yeah. right now we can see this eyedropper and see here. Whenever you are using yeah. this one now from here, you get the same properties here. Now see over here this property, and in the panel also okay. we have the same property here. Now see. Okay. Okay, so now you can see right now I'm having this uh, fill color in this one. So fill we are having the properties over here and same properties are available here yeah. also. Yes, now sir. if I come to this, uh, what do we say, stroke option in this one, you can see the stroke options. When you click this option, yeah. you don't find any properties here. But once you go to this color option, where is the color over here? Or else, uh, this one, outline pen, you have not say not this one. Colors we have to go. Go to the colors, you will open this panel here. You can you see? Yes, sir. One more panel will be open in this one. One second, let me go to this option. What happened? Right, the panel is not open. Yeah. Now, this is the panel you see over here now. When you come to the properties, yeah. Come to the stroke panel, you'll see the same option over here now. Go to this option and click on pen option and click OK to accept now. See this option over here, size, style, and this options over here. Okay, and stretch, yeah. and, stretch and option is available here. We can see this option over here, and last option over here now. Colors and all. Okay. You have same yes, property sir. over here and over here also. Okay, so I'm closing this panel. Yes, sir. So these two options we are having. The third one is what transparency. Transparency can be seen over yeah. here now. Can you see this icon? Yeah. Yes, Once sir. you click this icon, you see the list of options here now. When you click the transparency, you see the same option here also. Yes, sir. Okay, same. So instead of using from this one, the so property panel will be more easy. Why? Because it is right side and easily we can access from here. Yeah. Okay, now let's start creating this one and using these properties now. Okay, let me apply one color. Okay, one more ob object I'm creating. Let's apply another color on this one. Right now I'm having two objects. Okay. Okay, now you can see right now I'm, I'm selecting the top portion of this one. Now we are having option here outline. First we'll discuss the outline, then we'll have fill, then transparency we have. Okay, we'll see this. Yeah. Outline. We, which panel it has means these all options available inside the properties. Okay. Where you will find these properties under this plus sign, go to the top. Plus, yeah. Yeah, top here. This is the properties. Now. Okay. okay. So select this object and go to the stroke option and apply the stroke color first. What color stroke you want it? Okay, you can set any color you like. Okay. Okay. Now let me go with the blue color. Now second option is what size. Right now we can yeah. see what is it, hairline, none option, hairline in the sense, basic line. Now from okay. here on we can increase this value to 36 ounces, see? Okay, yes sir. Okay. Now we have applied the color, we have applied the outline, size for this one now. Then we have sides over here, you can see this, all sides are available in this one. Yeah. Let me apply as this one, solid line from this one, so go to the top and solid line here. Instead okay. of solid line, I can apply some other style also. Uh, what is it? Dotted lines. Dotted line. Let me see one dotted line. Now we can see the dotted line. Right now the thickness is too high. That's the reason lines are not visible. Now yeah. Can see. If you give more lines, yes, you get more options in this one. See? Yeah. Let me increase this to a little more far away from this one. So around 6 see. Right? Yes, sir. So what is this option? Well, uh, outline properties we can say okay? okay now under this one we have used this option now coming back to the next one that is alignments alignment for this one i'm going for a solid color 
Okay, now thickness will okay. increase a little bit more. So I'll go with the ten value here now. And the alignment okay. you can see right now it is in center, both side. Yeah. I want inside and outside now. You can see this is what outside and this is what inside. You can see. Okay. Okay, so like this you can use the soft disk. Okay, that is nothing but alignment of stroke in sense. Okay. Inside, center, and outside. And outside. So outside. This yeah. is what inside. This is what outside. Next option after this one. Let me delete this option. Let's take the uh, rectangle option. Okay. Now go and select this option. Okay. Next uh, we are having this alignment. We can use the alignment here. And similarly, one more option is there. That is corner on this one. So once again, let me take the rectangle. Okay. Let me take the outline. Okay, outline style I want to apply now. So go to this option. A second. Yeah. Select this option. Go to the outlines and select this properties. Now we're here now. So let me apply the stroke uh, size here. For yellow, I have taken the color. Let's increase the size to around 12 or 16 something. Now we are yeah. having this option. Now we can see. Right now I am making this corner. Now we can see. Now what is the yeah. symbol? Now it has become a round on the corner. Also. Rounded. Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, flames we can have that is flame. Nothing but straight line we can see. Okay. So these are the properties available. Now, if you go to the line tool now in this one, go to the BZ tool and take the three point two point line tool and drag this point here on this one. Okay. Okay. Now select this pick tool and select this object and go to this option and apply the properties for this one. Let's apply some eight or ten size for this one. Let's have a color for this one. Okay. Okay. All these properties are available inside this one now. I'll change the color for this one. <laughs> Now let's go to the pick tool and uh, smooth this and understand right now. I'm just placing this one over here. Okay. Yeah. So once it is done, now we are having this option here: starting arrow and an ending arrow. So I want starting yeah. arrow should be like this. Now ending arrow should be feather, feather one. We can say. Okay. Now see here the ending arrow. I'm providing on this on this one. Now we can see this arrow. Now. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, sir. So this is what a light tool and light tool has these properties. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So I'll delete this option. Now let's go to the next option. Now that is transparency. We are having. So select this object. Okay. Now go to the transparency. Sir, one second. So first we'll take the fill color. Then we we'll go to the transparency. Okay. Select this object okay. and select this object and see. Select this red color portion. Yes, sir. So now I have selected this one. Now, before applying this, uh, what do we say? Transparency. We will have a filter. Outline you have seen now. These are the yes, properties sir. for the outline. Select this one, and we go to the fill option in this one. Under fill, we are having no fill color, no fill in the sense empty it is. Only outline will be available. Second option, fill color yeah. that is solid color. We can choose what color you want to fill yeah, for this one. You can choose the color also. Okay, and third okay. option uh, yeah. in this one, we can choose this method also to go little light color and pure color and dark color like this. Okay, and if you go to the uh, third option, that is font and fill. Font and fill in the sense gradient option, you can see. Okay, you can apply the gradient color. Okay. Right now we are having a black and white in this one. Uh, right now uh, this sample side won't have only this many samples we are having in the gradient. See here, only five. Yeah. Not more than that. So go and yes, this option. Go and click this option to apply the gradient color on this one. Now see. Now we can see the gradient colors. 
Okay, now example, if I want to create my own gradient now. Okay, what to do now? Come back again, gradient tool. Okay. Select this object. Okay, and go and click this option and say remove this option. Right click on this one and uh, delete if you want, don't want this one permanently. I don't want to apply this option. Simple option. Come here. This yeah. option, one second. <coughs> Here it is now. Select this one. Can you see this option here? Edit. Yes, sir. Along this one. Once you click this one, now it will go to the editing mode and we can apply any other option from this now. Okay. But we'll take this as uh, normal color for this one. So it will, be, it will be settled on this one. So take this option. One minute. Let me see where this option is available. Yeah. Here we have no option here. No outer yeah. color for this one. Second, select this, select this object, and do this other options. Okay. Now coming back to the font and filling this one, we can apply, we can create our own gradient also. How to do that? Yeah. Right now you can see the gradient option with the samples. What to do? Select this one, go to the color box, and try to provide the color what you want it. Okay. Okay. Now go to the second point. Second point is available here. Just click here, and go to this option and take the color font here. So double click, click here and go in the yeah. and select the yellow color. Okay. Third option uh, again. I'm going for third option now. Select this one. Okay. Go to this option once. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, next option in this one. Third one. Select this one. Okay. And go to the yeah. color option to change the color from here now. Let's apply the blue color and finally one more I am taking in this last one that is select color option and <coughs> click on the color what you, what you like. Now see all three colors I have applied now. Yeah. Let me apply this green and what we have to do we need to modify this one now. The modification can be done yes. by using these properties so you can see uh, skew and rotation value is there. Now we have yeah. width and height also we can have this width and height also you can see right now and decreasing the size. Yes sir. This one also will reduce this one to around 50. We can see so nothing will nothing has happened in this one. If even though if I decan 50%, yeah. it is not working on this one. So control Z. Okay, now select this option and go to the tool now. Now you can see the tool. Yeah. Can you see? Yes, sir. Now one thing is there when you when you rotate this point here, now both will rotate. Okay. Okay, and now if we rotate this circle one, now it will edit this existing portion. Can you see now? Yeah. And similarly, as we can decrease and for Amazon Prime, and just make it like this. Now, see. Oh, okay. Like this, we can only. Okay. So, whenever you are yeah. using the tool, the, after selecting the tool, what we can do, we can click and drag up and down to balance the yeah. color shape on this one. See, like this. Okay. So, this is how the colors can be useful for you. And whatever the colors you can see here, double click on this one, go and access whatever other color you want it. So. Yeah. Okay. So this yes. is regarding your graded option that is nothing but font and fill. Next yeah. option after this one, let me delete this option. Okay, so now we are having the font and fill in this one. We can apply the font and fill. And next option is what? Vector pattern. And now we can see it will be applied, it will apply yeah. vector pattern on this one. See? Yes, sir. So, in place of vector pattern, we are having some samples on this one and apply the samples over here now. Okay. okay. Now, let's go to the samples and you can see as few samples are available directly, we can use this one also. Yeah. So, now let's go to the next option after this value. Uh, what is it? Vector bitmap pattern and let's go to the. Uh, this one. Well, what is it? Pattern section with the pattern section. What we have to do? What we have to do? We have to select this one as snake. Okay. Okay. Where on this one? So let's take this one. Sorry. Select this one and go to this option. 
bitmap uh, vector pattern we have done now i am going to the bitmap pattern select this one and go to this option take the tool and apply the properties for this one take the tool and apply the properties now see we can have a big size from all side rotation can be done yes sir Now you can see right now I'm I'm moving this one individually I can move this one otherwise if I move this one at both at a time it can it can modify you can do you can go with the skew value and give we go with the rotation value also. Okay. Now let me move this inside and see. Okay, can you see now? Yes. Sir. Right. Yeah. So now next option after bitmap now we are having uh, what is it two color pattern in this one so we can apply two color pattern on this one see now. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want, you can enable and disable your swords. The other properties what we have now, we can uh, enable and disable that. Okay. Okay, sir. So select this one and go with this next option. That is, in place of two color pattern, we have a texture field in this one. We have a categories in this texture field. You can have category one, sample one, sample five, and all. Okay. Yeah. After this one, you can select the sample from here and just apply the sample for this artwork. Now, see, select this one and do the same thing for this one also. Okay. Go to the bitmap bitmap pattern and go to the samples. Select. Yes, sir. Okay. Go to the sam uh, this one. Trans uh, sorry. Object mode. You can see. Now we are having bit uh, so what is the bitmap pattern? We can have a bitmap pattern. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Other options. You can see. So, okay. so this is what uh, what is bitmap pattern we have done. And let's have a vector pattern. Uh, so this one. Uh, what do we say? Two color pattern and texture fill yeah. in this one and post script in this one. Yeah, Let's post script. Texture fill inside this one, so it will fill with the texture options. Increase and decrease the size of the subject. Okay. Okay, so like this, we can use tool for this one. Now coming back to the next one, that is texture fill. We can have, we can apply the texture fill in this one. Okay, or else we can go to the last option, that is post script in this one. Okay. Okay. And click on this one to apply this post script option in this one. I'll see what happened. Okay. Small designs. Small, yes, small sir. points we have got in this one. So what is yeah. this option? Post script. Post -script. Now, if I don't want this one, I can change this one to other mode also. You can see now, we can apply this option. Okay. Okay, so this is how this uh, first option can be useful for you. Uh, outlines. Okay. Free yes, color. sir. Fill color and transparency. Transparency. Okay. okay. Now under transparency, I will see this under transparency. What are the options available inside this one? Let me delete this one. Let me take this object and try to apply the fill color for this one and stroke color also for this one. Okay. Right now we can see I am selecting the top object. Let's apply the transparency in this one. Again, same option. No change in this one. Yeah. We have no uh, no fill color. Then we have a solid color fill that we can provide what color we want to fill. Then after this one, we are having gradient fill. So gradient can be applied in this way. You can see right. Yeah. Now. Okay. Next option. Uh, one second. What is the next option? Uh, vector pattern we have done. Okay, vector we pattern. Have bitmap pattern we are having. We can apply the bitmap pattern as in projected one. With the height, yeah. we can decide all the properties. Okay. All properties yes, will be available. Yes, you can use this all properties. So decrease the size and see now. Okay, and finally, last option in this one that is post script. Uh, sorry, two color pattern and texture. So, two color pattern. Yes, we have only pattern in this one. We can apply the pattern. Now coming back to the last option. Yeah. Okay, you get more samples compared to that one. Now see, all these samples are available for this one. Even I have yeah. converted this one into normal object. You can see now. See, you can apply. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So is it clear this one? Yes, sir. One is outline, one is fill color, one is transparency. And it's transparency. Okay. Again, okay. these three are very, very important in LSE in Corotor. Okay. Okay. So try to practice yeah. this one, two, and three. Why? Because uh, so today I'll be uploading your all videos once it is completed. Okay. okay. I'll share it with you one by one. All I'll, I'll, I'll today I'll finish it. Your was uh, your uh, what is the videos part? Give, okay, me, uh, give me today's time and tomorrow we'll have a normal class continuation and one more thing is there 
once the class is yeah. completed immediately the video will be uploaded on youtube you will get the link also directly okay okay, okay sir right. okay uh, also sir uh, whenever you're free can you just explain to me about the ui ux design photoshop no. like we we I, uh, we did one design yeah. but um, in that design like when you select home the um, home page uh, document home page screen or the about us page Links. Links yes sir yeah okay sure sir thank you sir bye good night sir